Today we have more AMD news, and this is not the Ryzen news that we've been hearing about and seeing things about for the past few months. This is about something new. This is about the Raven Ridge APUs, which are due out later this year, sort of at the tail end of 2017. Now, these APUs are exciting because they combine the Ryzen cores, or the Zen cores rather, with an onboard graphics solution, which would eliminate discrete graphics needs for a lot of users. If you're somebody that uses your computer primarily for just sort of browsing the internet, doing email, maybe some light work stuff, and also maybe some very light gaming, sort of like some MOBAs, maybe some CSGO, then these APUs, the, these, these Raven Ridge parts, are likely going to be right down your alley. Historically, these AMD APUs have packed decent integrated graphics to the point where if you're doing some of that lower uh, demanding gaming, then you don't actually need a discrete graphics card. Now, this particular leak from WCCF Tech is sort of interesting and different in that it is comparing three different companies' x86 processors. Specifically, it is coming from the Jalxin... Jalxin? I, I actually don't know how to pronounce that. It's a Chinese processor manufacturer that makes x86 processors. Um, and it, the benchmark they are using is the Fritz Chess Benchmark V4.2. Now, if we look past the strange company that none of us have ever really used before and look at the chart, apparently we have an AMD Zen 4-core 8-thread Raven Ridge part with an unknown clock frequency and the score on there is 11,000. Now, this comes in just behind a Skylake i5 and a KB Lake i5, but ahead of the old AMD 8370 and the old AMD APU, the A107890. Now, the score of 11,000 coming in just behind the i5s is not particularly encouraging in that it's comparing against two parts that have four less threads than it does. However, I also don't know how well the Fritz Chess Benchmark takes advantage of multiple threads, especially beyond four threads. So although the, the benchmark results aren't encouraging, this isn't as if we were seeing a Cinebench benchmark where it scales very well with multiple cores or even a CPU Z benchmark. This is a benchmark that I'm unfamiliar with. I haven't really been able to find a whole lot about it to run on my system to see how well it runs with multiple cores and threads. So take it with a grain of salt. Also take it with a grain of salt because the link is, you, the chart is gone and all we're left with is a screenshot of the chart that WCCF Tech acquired. In addition to the Raven Ridge news, there is also a report from a few days ago that Apple is considering using the Raven Ridge APUs in their MacBook Pro 2017s. This would be in an effort to make the machine a little bit uh, more stout in the graphics department while also allowing Apple to make the machine thinner and lower powered. Now again, take this report with a giant grain of salt. I found the report first on the website Droid Report, which linked to a website called Auto World News, which linked to a website called Moby Picker, which linked to a website called UniversityHerald.com, which had no link. Now, the universityherald.com, which is the origin of the story, at least as far as I can tell, says Apple is reportedly considering Raven Ridge for MacBook Pro 2017 model and beyond to produce a thinner, portable machine. However, it does not link anywhere, and it does not go on to say exactly where those sources are coming from. Are they coming from inside of Apple? Are they just outside sources? We don't really know. Regardless of the leaks, we do have Raven Ridge parts coming later this year according to AMD's roadmap. And this is cause for excitement regardless of whether these leaks and rumors hold up in the long term. The fact is that we'll be left with four core eight thread parts which can pair very similarly to the Zen or Ryzen processors which are carrying the same core and thread count with the exception that we'll actually have onboard graphics with them. This will allow many users to eliminate the need for a discrete graphics card, which will then of course produce computers that are cheaper for the end user. In addition, AMD linking up with Apple is not completely out of the question as AMD has historically been the provider of the graphics cards that are packed in uh, things like the Mac Pros, the, the Fire Pro graphics cards that go in the trash can Mac 
are from, of course, AMD. So it is not unheard of for Apple to work directly with AMD. However, we've not seen them work with AMD on the processor side. So it will be very interesting to see how Intel responds to the, the potential coup by Apple in picking an AMD product for their very popular laptop line over an Intel part. But of course, these are just rumors and they are not really proven. If you do want something proven, I'll let YouTube go ahead and link up a card that shows my Ryzen 1800X benchmarks. If you like this video though, you can share, comment, subscribe, all those things down below. Those things do help the channel out a lot. If you wanna follow me on social media, I am at Hoosier Hardware on both Instagram and on Twitter, which is super convenient for you guys, my viewers. And finally, we'll go ahead and let YouTube queue up a couple more videos and cards off to your right side of the video screen. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.